Intelligent species before humans. Interesting subject, isn't it? Well, that's what two of my friends have asked me. Danger Floof asks, how likely is a pre-human civilization? And Daniel Axiom Ape, good YouTube friend from Australia, asks, I've heard you state before you wouldn't be surprised if an ancient proto-civilization was discovered, something along the lines of Papua New Guinea level civilization. What kind of creatures do you imagine when you think of this? <coughs> Thanks, guys. So, let's unpack this bundle. Intelligent species before people. Okay, it depends on what you mean by an intelligent species. If you mean a creature that's self-aware, that's capable of complicated thought or even building artifacts, then the answer is almost certainly yes. Actually, 100% yes. Because even now we have animals like uh, dolphins, crows, many species of mammals and birds demonstrably show a sort of self-awareness. Yeah, sure, they don't build cars or buy Bitcoin, but they are, I would say, as self-aware as primitive man was out in the forests and the savannas, you know? And artifacts, they are no hard game either. Birds make nests all the time. Beavers build dams. If, imagine, there were no people, okay? And someone descended upon the world from space. They would see these huge dams built by beavers in North America. And imagine we came to an alien planet, okay? Forget what the animals look like. Imagine we came to an alien planet and there you have alien beavers building dams. We would probably think of them as a primitive civilization. We would perhaps never figure out what they say to each other or how they communicate. But it would register as an, a pre-human intelligence. So in that respect, I think there must have been many pre-human self-aware populations of animals that build nests. There were these cockscrew shaped nests of ancient beaver-like animals or groundhog-like animals in North America. They're known from fossils. In the age of dinosaurs, where everywhere was full of bird or reptile-like animals, there must have been many dinosaur bird things that were as smart as crows, you know? Building nests, probably having language of some sort. Once again, I'm not talking about language in which to discuss philosophy, but complicated signals. I'm coming here, you are going there, danger is there, food is here. Heck, even bees have language and sophisticated structures. So, you see, with that broad definition of intelligence, the past must have been packed with pre-human intelligences. My top candidates would be certain mammals in the Miocene and afterwards, Elephants, there were once dozens of species of elephants or elephant-like an animals. I'm sure those were all extremely social, intelligent beasts, each with their unique cultures. Same goes with marine mammals prehistorically. Things like, I don't know, crows, birds, bats, maybe even, heck, I would guess some pterosaurs who knows so the past must have been packed with pre-human self-aware animals now civilization as we know it is a whole other ball game let me take a sip of tea before answering you see our definition of civilization is extremely narrow even in science fiction, the aliens we create, they're just 
stand-ins for different ethnicities or races of people. I mean, yeah, there's this one alien race, they are super warlike. There's other alien race, they are super empathic. You know, they are just stereotypes of cultures and ethnicities we have on Earth. We always look and our yardstick of intelligence is surprisingly close to our own height. So people won't be really shocked or satisfied before they find a civilization that has an alphabet, talks, defines themselves as individual, builds cities with towers, makes vehicles, rides them, makes complicated electronic devices out of metal and plastic. But these are all big givens. I mean, even in human history, you had many civilizations that didn't look or act or think in any way similar to our civilization. If you look at the ruins of Göbekli Tepe, that's G-O-B-E-K-L-I-T-E-P-E. -E -E. There's this kind of strange temple-like complex built at the age of hunter-gatherers for some ritual, maybe. And they also discovered indications of human sacrifice there. So there was this bizarre proto-civilization of humans whose biggest achievement was completely unlike anything we know or desire. Same story with Stonehenge or many of these megalith cultures across Eurasia. You know, no one really knows what was going on with those. I don't mean something mysterious and advanced was going on. It was just that that was those people's game. For them, that was the main deal. There were civilizations oriented towards something else than sustainable advancement and trade and distribution of resources. That's our main deal. One could arguably say that the main deal of people in this current age is twofold. A. The distribution and insurement of trade. B. The maintaining of complex social mechanisms. This is very underlooked, you know. When you think machines, everyone thinks about a car, a tank or iPhone. But you can't really make an iPhone without the corporate structure that ensures the allocation of resources, the planning for such things or the planning that goes into factories and the wage structure and the business ethic, the daily job ethic that goes to how the factory workers get up and go to work every day, to the culture of commerce and trade. That's something of a ritual. If you think about an iPhone, you can't really have it without this idea of a new present being yours every season or something that's a big given. So in each stage, there are many probabilities. And we drifted somewhat afar. So if you're looking for civilization like ours, then it becomes more difficult to find. Because there are a lot of variables and shifty things that went into the making of our civilization and thus our understanding of what civilization ought to be look like. So yeah, I didn't answer the question directly, but gave a different answer. Now, let's have a broader definition of civilization. Let's say Stone Age level and, as Daniel said, Papua New Guinea level. Now, maybe in the Miocene period, in the mid-age of mammals, or in the vast age of the dinosaurs, 
there probably could have been some animal most likely some sort of bird or small burrowing mammal maybe they could have made simple tools like little sticks sharpened spare like things but time is so deep that these could have been erased altogether but if you had something even as primitive as stone axes those would be preserved in the fossil record but we haven't found any and yeah the fossil record is full of gaps but consigning these hypothetical pre-human artifact building civilizations to these unknown areas is a epistemological fallacy it's a fallacy of knowledge you know then i mean saying that maybe it existed but we didn't have records that's the easy way of saying it i don't know by the way there's this entire cottage industry of out of place artifacts that's archaeological or paleontological artifacts that seem too advanced for their time and maybe someone could look there if they want to find pre-human intelligent civilizations but when you when you look at these out of place artifacts closely you realize most of them are either hoaxes or somewhat exaggerated by people who want them to be what they are a couple are really mysterious such as the antikythera mechanism from greece this is a kind of crank wound very sophisticated watch like theodolite or mechanical computer from ancient greek times but it doesn't suggest a pre-human intelligence it just shows that probably ancient greeks were smarter so one is really left without evidence and hmm maybe just before the rise of man there could have been many pre-human hominid species and that's a whole other chapter i mean there was once a time where multiple species of people coexisted the small hobbit people in indonesia homo floresiensis neanderthal people the mysterious denisovan people who are known only from a few bones and dna traces and perhaps some of the things we consider as pre-human artifacts like stone axes or some cave paintings even could have been made by species of people who were genetically distinct and physiologically distinct from homo sapiens so there you have another answer so let's condense this box could there have been a pre-human intelligence long answer short definitely if you consider intelligence as self-awareness and building of simple artifacts like nests dams burrows mounds even simple tools no if you're looking for complicated mechanical devices or something like our own civilization maybe possibly if you consider early hominids pre-human intelligences so there that's our answer but this is always a very mysterious subject and it's a kind of honey trap for uh, speculative sci-fi thinking and it's one of these subjects that's so alluring that you can't keep your mind away from it and i would say on a wager that it's still one of these areas where we could be in store for a great unknown surprise have a nice day everyone and thanks for the question guys